Here's how we make our kitchen island out of cabinets. We first determine the length that we want the island to be. In this case, we wanted a 90 inch long island, so we ordered three 30 inch drawer base cabinets. We positioned the cabinets in the location that we wanted the island. Once they were in the correct place, we wanted to hold them together, so we attached each face frame of the cabinet to the next using cabinet screws. We wanted the island to be a little wider than the standard 24 inch cabinet, so we decided to frame it out with two by fours. We first added a two by four to the very top, attaching it to all three of the cabinets. And then we did the same thing by attaching a second two by four to the bottom. This will not only allow us to make the island a little bit wider, but it will also keep those three cabinets secured together. And here's a few other options to make your island wider. If you're wanting to add an additional 12 inches or more to the back side of your island, I would suggest using wall cabinets. That will give you that 12 inch depth. All you would have to do is build a base so they would be the same height as your base cabinets. Another option would be doing a whole second set of base cabinets, which would then give you an additional 24 inches. For this island, we only wanted an additional six, so we framed this out of two by fours. It will also provide additional support for your countertop to sit on. Here's what the island looks like now that that additional frame is added. You can see that it added about six inches to the back end, and then we will have a 12 to 15 inch overhang for our countertop. To cover the back wall, you can use a cabinet panel, or I decided to add a little bit of character by adding shiplap. I bought these shiplap boards from Home Depot and cut them to size. I used my brad nailer to attach it to those 2x4 studs. And when installing the shiplap, I like to start from the bottom up so you see a full piece along the bottom. And if you have to cut a piece, it will be cut on the very top and that's hidden by the countertop. On either side of the island, you will have this small space that you can use for storage or even get creative by making a wine rack. I just use a cabinet panel to cover mine. And if you're not able to find a cabinet panel from your cabinet dealer or Home Depot or Lowe's, you are able to just get a quarter inch piece of sanded plywood and then just color match it to your cabinets. I put my cabinet panel on the side and then just traced out where I needed to make the cuts. And to cut the panels, I just used my jigsaw, but you could also use a circular saw or a table saw. And once I cut the cabinet panel to size, I attached it to the side using some wood glue and also my brad nailer with 18 gauge brad nails. I would suggest just using the brad nails around the perimeter so you're not having to fill in any holes. And then to finish off the corner between the cabinet panel and the shiplap, I just cut a piece of outside corner molding to size. And I did the same thing to the opposite side. When choosing a cabinet color, I like to use a neutral color like white or gray. That way you can customize the color of your shiplap to whatever your decor is. This will allow you to change that shiplap color anytime you want since paint is pretty cheap rather than having to get all new cabinets every time. I also prefer drawer cabinets over standard base cabinets because it provides so much storage. And if you already know what color you're going to be painting the shiplap, I do suggest painting that first, although it wasn't too hard here. For the countertop, we went with a 15 inch overhang and it's a quartz countertop called Sparkling White. I also used my cabinet jig from Amazon and installed these black handles from Amazon. Thanks so much for watching and if you guys want any more DIY tips, Make sure to give me a follow on TikTok at East Coast DIY or Instagram at East Coast Florida DIY.